Hi again, welcome to the Progressive. So the training modules overview will give you the like the main titles of every training module that we are going to cover, what we are going to cover in each one of these training modules, like an overview again. The first three presentations are pretty much overview, but it's important for you to get into the energy of it. Okay. Once you get into the energy of it, it will be easy to follow the remaining podcast. So this is an overview of the overview of all 18 of them. Okay. Take care. So here we are again. Let's discuss the corporate behaviors. Um, before I begin, a couple of points I want to share with you. These are meant for, these modules are extensive. There's a lot of material going to be presented in this one and the upcoming podcast. And so I'm not going to go through every detail of every slide. I've captured it on text. You may pause it whenever you want since this is a video to take notes and such. The idea is for the for these series of podcasts to be for the experienced ones, so-called experienced ones, the leaders, the CEOs, the HR, the managers, the team leaders, etc. And also for the youngsters who are coming on board, who probably would have the wisdom to go through all of this material and have the patience to do so. Because you're going to spend a lifetime working in an institution or of some kind. Let it be the government, let it be the judicial, let it be the medical, engineering, uh, educational, any community of people where humans come for working together to accomplish a task or a project. Um, humans have always done this through civilizations. So there has to be a structure, yes, but that structure does not have to dictate your personal happiness or um, to enjoy uh, the work while you are creating it, while you are participating in it. So hopefully these series will be um, a deeper learning exercise rather than a set of dry um, and boring old lectures uh, which nobody likes neither do I so I will try to make my presentation and the talk succinct although the slides are already there and you can pause it and take notes if you feel you're more of a text kind of person if you're one of those pedantic people you can just take notes wherever you want um, modify it to suit like your organization depending upon what they do do they produce something like a material goods or are they into services industry of some kind so I'll leave that to you um, that's the objective of it I might skip over some slides I might focus on some other slides in detail if, it, if I feel it needs addressing and if it needs some more detailed talk of some kind. So just pause and take notes of the video if you feel like taking notes. Yeah, And I do hope that you have the sufficient patience to go through these slides. You can always go through different podcasts a number of times also. Um, enhance your learning. Um, I might recommend some books in some cases. Um, just take notes. Um, make it a learning exercise, an interesting one, not a boring one. God knows there's plenty of boring things out there in the corporate culture these days as I make this podcast. Uh, that's not the idea of um, this particular talk. Um, this particular talk is meant for being a dynamic learning exercise. Um, again, like I always maintain, nothing said here is the final word. Let nobody tell you that anything what they say is the final word or the last word. We humans are here to have a continuous evolvement in our growth, both at all levels, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, whatever you may call it. 
um, so without further ado let's begin so the modules or what I call as modules we have split into six parts these are the fix six basic um, modules or things that you should know about when you enter a corporation or a company and each one of them some of them have very detailed uh, sub podcasts and all that we will see that later on so there are basic six parts but the total number of podcasts will be 18 so you can imagine just lots of details coming up for each one yeah and we will uh, discuss all of them in detail and they will be well calling spade a spade for lack of better word uh, I don't mince words I've never been known to mince words whatever I need to speak what's on my mind or what I have observed so these are my personal experience like I said in the first one combined with what I have learned from the books sometimes what you read in the books and this is what I find at least is not very practical it may sound sweet but it is not very practical or pragmatic to implement in the real world because people humans are very complex creatures they're very unpredictable moody emotional ambitious all kinds of things so each human being is extremely complex and when they come to arrive at the workplace with all of these um, complexities individually the collective that we call a company or an institution is a collective of humans so the collective becomes very challenging to manage to work with at an individual level and in, and the corporate level if you will company level the institutional level I'm called them corporate for a lack of a better word but it applies really to all kinds of institutions wherever we humans work together as a collective yes so we are summarizing it in six parts um, so that there is uh, a sense of yes we know all the basics these are all the basics you should be knowing about this you should be trying to implement this in your work so that you'll have balance in all kinds of things it will appear delightfully challenging to you uh, your career your workplace do not become a burden of some kind where you get up every morning and start cursing your life saying why am i doing this what i'm doing um, and build up a life that is worth cherishing as a career and like i said in the first one most of these are focusing on your day-to-day -day activities if you focus on your day-to-day -day activities many things will become um take care of itself like you take care of the first step all the remaining steps will take care of themselves so these six we will be dealing with now let's see what the first one is again corporate attitudes um, first we have to talk about knowing personal and corporate attitudes what does it mean now, each one of them we'll discuss in detail later this is an overview focusing we we'll talk about focusing tasks actions communication hard skills at work flowing now, this is something which i never heard being talked of anywhere uh, but this is what i have implemented in my own career and i find it very very beautiful and relevant we will see what that means what is flowing being present separating human and work associations then next one is cooperation and collaboration subjective and objective behaviors playing while working logic and creativity yeah. next comes communication in communication module we'll be talking about listening we'll be talking about enhancing verbal communication we'll talk about being aware of non-verbal communication now this is also not the way it is taught in companies but you should be because many people go on ignoring the non-verbal communication the humans are very good at non-verbal 90 percent of what we speak or want to communicate is shown in our body language we'll, so we'll see briefly the important ones in that module participating in meetings and discussions we have meetings and discussions all the time 
so learning written communication how to have a proper written communication in a corporate world cross communicating and communicating in difficult situations sometimes the situation becomes difficult so how do you manage that we'll talk about all of these uh, bullets in communication module next comes planning and organizing uh, planning short and long term objectives and goals planning prioritizing resourcing and execution we'll talk about that planning in terms of time management in terms of creating routine and procedures then comes the organizing part organizing workstation and things creating daily self work plans follow ups organizing in terms of coordinating resources information people organizing in terms of delegation and allocation of work uh, this part is rather extensive is spoken of a lot in many circles the critical thinking but many people i have seen out there and even they they are not researched this material very well this is uh, i have put in my own um, understanding of what components i call them the five c's these are the five c's which affect critical thinking or this is the way critical thinking should be carried out i also am making an app for critical thinking workshop it has to be a workshop it's more of an exercise and hopefully we can uh, work together uh, i am willing to work with corporations who want to have a critical thinking workshop because it enhances and makes people aware of how they are thinking and what else is possible it increases thinking capacity it increases possibility we'll see in detail what i mean by these five c's conceptualizing cognizing comprehending characterizing and concluding these are the five components five c's which affect critical thinking and this is the way it should be carried out we'll talk more about that in the critical thinking module then comes teamwork you are in an organization you are in a collective there will be a number of humans doing number of things so we we will speak about teamwork and the essence of teamwork in this module which consists of respecting yourself and others demonstrating reliability and integrity communicating in teams meeting discussions and conferences if we take care of these teamwork will automatically follow you don't have to do anything to create a teamwork team will take care of itself uh, last but not the least professionalism what does it mean to be a professional so we'll talk about workplace decorum and expectations we'll talk about ethics and morality company and self we'll talk about keeping up physical appearances and we'll talk about using professional language so these are the basic overviews and each one of these as you can see is a very very detailed topic we'll cover in the the 18 podcast series so thank you for that